What's going on, guys? It's Complete Tech Crew. Today, we're going to do a quick walkthrough of my local Ace Hardware. There's several Ace Hardwares within my area, um, but lately, this particular Ace Hardware, and I don't want to say lately, it's just been consistent for the past year and a half, two years, that this Ace Hardware is always making modification and improvements to this location and adding a bunch of new inventory or inventory that's relevant to my industry and other industries. So there's a lot of construction going on in my city. And um, as you can see, you know, they've added things to help us when we're in a pinch that we can just come to a local Ace Hardware and pick up some equipment. Um, I'm really close with the personnel at this particular Ace Hardware. They're always friendly. They're always helping me out with pricing. They're always looking out. And if they don't have it, they'll get it in for you. So uh, hats off to Ace Hardware, and I appreciate them for that. You know, Home Depot has a lot of stuff, but there's just some things in those one-off things that they don't have, like these select uh, Diablo bits. The length of the bits and the width of these SDS bits or SDS Max bits, um, Home Depot just doesn't have. So... Definitely go check out an Ace Hardware in your area and they may have it. These Ace Hard Hardware is in and around uh, this city and the um, neighboring cities. They're fully loaded. So go check them out, guys. Those are some a really great selection and array of bits there. Um, these are all normally or regularly priced. They, um, their pricing seems to be commensurate or equal to that of Home Depot. So um, you can always come here and they'll do price matching. Uh, the only time they won't price match is if it's a sale, like if their competitor is having a sale, then they can't price match that. Uh, I was just looking at these. Though, there, there goes those drawer dividers. If you buy in the pack out boxes now, of course, you won't need the drawer dividers. But if you like me and you bought tons of them back when they came out, you will. So I'll be picking up some of those. Uh, just a just a deal that they have. They mark it out clearly for you and they let you know the uh, start date and the end date of the deal there. Checking out that bandsaw. That was the latest a revision of that particular bandsaw. Great bandsaw. All Milwaukee bandsaws are really good, in my opinion. Uh, I enjoy working with them all. That was the second generation M12 bandsaw right now. I think they're on their third one now. That is the Fuel. Uh, both of those iterations are excellent. I love those tools. So, of course, the Fuel one is better, man. Just a cleaner, faster, um, more precise cut, in my opinion. Here goes a bunch of uh, select M12 tools, ratchet drivers, things of that nature. Some good stuff there. They have a lot of uh, brushless stuff because remember in Ace Hardware, it's uh it's localized and it catering to a lot of homeowners and DIYers. Uh, they also have some exclusive or unique tools, just like that cutoff saw you saw there. So they don't just solely at this specific Ace, they don't solely cater to homeowners and DIYers. They also have a lot of contractor tools, just like you saw. A good example was the Diablo uh, display. And as well as those cutoff saws and stuff like that. And you'll see towards the end of this video, a lot of their uh, outdoor power equipment is catered towards the trade. So this one, I like this Ace for that reason. Because the or, or origin of Ace, to my understanding, to my knowledge, was to cater to homeowners and DIYers. But this specific one has a vast array of tools and equipment for everybody, from novices to professionals. So I won't continue rambling about that. But you see, guys, they got the new uh, Impact Wrench, the 18 the M18 fuel, the new uh, half inch impact rich. So they have they have a lot of stuff and they, they get it on time. It's never like months behind. And sometimes they'll get it before Home Depot releases it or before it comes to my local supply house. So and a lot of times they'll have deals on it right now. Everything's priced normally. I didn't see too many uh, great deals here specifically regarding or celebrating Father's Day. So um they have a lot of promotions almost every other month at this one. So it'd be worthwhile if you have them in your area just to go check in and build a relationship with them. Just taking a look at this random orbital polisher right here. Pretty cool tool. I don't own it yet. I don't know why I need it, but I'll, I'll probably get it eventually and, you know, find a use for it. That's a really good tool. I own that tool. Great tool. Um, looking at some of the other promotions or deals that they have and a lot of times like right there on that tag that red hot buy you can pause it if you need to a lot of times those will still be up that one ended um in may i believe they'll still honor it they're really good about that policy at this store so oftentimes i ponder if they leave it up just because they still want to um move some of those tools or or uh continue the promotion past the date that is posted so here comes some here goes some dewalt material excuse me guys um I'm not big on DeWalt, like power tools and stuff like that. It's just, it's just, 
it's not it's not a bias or anything like that in my opinion i don't think that they're bad tools or anything like that you guys know how i feel i said it several times before it's just that milwaukee seems to cater that's the platform i'm in and they seem to cater toward you know towards the trades a little more specifically my trade which is uh you know infrastructure and uh electrical so i think it's great for the tools that they do have and i hear great things from a lot of the carpenters and uh millwork guys and stuff like that that are uh that are big on their mill uh, on their dewalt product excuse me guys so they didn't i didn't see too many promotions on the dewalt stuff either this is just some specific stuff that they have there It'll be ending at the end of the month or in uh you know less than less than 10 days so get out to your ace you know if you guys are looking for anything specific because this one definitely has some unique tools and then i'm gonna breeze by here real fast they just have a lot of your bit tips and accessories i mean they have a full aisle of it so i think that's great again catering to the trades and just catering to the uh DIYers and stuff like that they have everything you need i always come up here and find some odds and ends or odd pieces unique things that you wouldn't find at home depot or lowe's so uh guys I always look out and there's a bunch of D diablo stuff there as well so they they've expanded their diablo section so i've hit that uh away that point away good enough so right here is some of the uh storage solutions that milwaukee has a charger right there I love this, uh, the pack out shelf right here or the pack out racking kit. Let me say that right. There goes that overpriced, uh, Milwaukee radio. It's great. Great radio. Don't get me wrong, man. But it's it, the only time to get that in my opinion and what is when there's a promotion and it's never on promotion. So you guys just always look out for that. Cause it, you know, you can find it particularly at your supply house. I, in my area, they have Codell. So, um, and Codell, they've they've grown. I think I think they've merged with a larger group that's uh, a, they're a subsidiary of Sonapart, if I'm not mistaken. Let me know in the comments if I'm mistaken, but I believe they're a subsidiary of Sonapart. So they have incredible deals, guys. You got to get out there and build relationships with your local supply houses. Whether you're a plumber, electrician, whatever you are, go in there and build relationships. Uh, meet the manager. Meet the um, the salespeople there and build those relationships so you guys can get some good deals. So I've been rambling and just skipping over all the tools, but uh, this is stuff you guys seen a million and one times before. So there's some promotion on like the craftsman stuff. Um, I want to get a, a new saw, you know, for work and stuff like that. Um, I'm explaining to you guys a lot more what I've been doing and what's been going on. And uh, my life has been very eventful in these past two years and a lot of good stuff's been going on. A lot of challenges, a lot of growth. I thought this was cool. I haven't seen this before with adjustable work light over what I believe it to be some type of toolbox. You guys let me know if you know what that is, if you utilize it or if you own it. I think it's pretty cool. The chainsaws from DeWalt are pretty great. Um, I've, I have two of them that I got on promotion from Home Depot a couple years ago. I love them. I'm going to be using a lot more OPE now because I just acquired some commercial property. So I'm getting into that. And a lot of things are changing with my businesses. I'm growing and uh, opening up new sectors and service to provide. So I definitely need that OPE. And I'm going to get more hands on with the service I'm providing as well. So it'll be time for cutoff saws and all that kind of good stuff. So I'm looking into that, particularly battery, battery powered stuff. So I have a lot more to learn about that. So if you guys are in that industry and have advice for me, I would really appreciate you sharing that that experience that you have. So over here, we have more uh, saws. I heard good things about this uh, pancake compressor as well. I don't own it. I'm curious about it. And uh, there's been a lot of sales on them when they came out a few years ago or more than a few years ago. But when it goes on sale here at this Ace, I think I'm going to tackle it. Here we're looking at um, table saw from uh, Milwaukee. This one holds it holds its price. I've seen it go down a little bit and fluctuate a little bit in price, but the best time to go for those is again during promotion. And this Ace is fully loaded with a, um, a vast array of these saws. They have a bunch from the miter saws to the table saws. They have all uh, all types and sizes of them for Dewalt and Milwaukee primarily. So you guys you guys have all the good deals in your area. Uh, go for those but for me over here I'm, i end up waiting until i can get my hands on it until it goes on sale so uh, i don't know what the price is on that one i think it's below down there but a lot of this stuff slides around from customers or or the actual employees like sliding stuff around so the price doesn't seem to match up with what the item is or at least when i check the skew uh, i have one of these these adjustable shop stools from dewalt man i absolutely love it i got it on sale 
um, at uh, Cal Ranch about three years ago. And I bought one. I didn't know. I was just experimenting with it just because the price. And I went back to try to get another one. And they were all gone. Oh, they're way overpriced on this, guys. They're, they're like $32 uh, overpriced on that. So uh, just pay attention to your pricing and know where stuff is cheaper. You know, stuff is that's cheaper. But, yeah, this shop stool is incredible. So, uh, again, guys, I told you I acquired some property. It does have uh, foliage and a lot of greenery on that around in and around that property that I've elected to maintain myself. Um, I think, I think it'll be more beneficial. So I've been looking at, uh, of course, um, um, electric or battery powered OPE. So I've been looking at this guys, give me your input on this, uh, Milwaukee lawnmower. Please share your thoughts. I know that ego is, uh, a very, uh, prominent brand in this OPE game. So please share your thoughts with me and let me know what's better. Cause I know that ego may or may not have better promotions as well. I know their batteries are incredible. I have a couple of their blowers, their backpack blower, and one of their uh, standard blowers, and I absolutely love their products. Solid products. So, and I have an edge edge trimmer for them and a chainsaw. Excuse me. So I have I have a few of their products that I got on clearance at uh, Home Depot when Home Depot was uh, discontinuing their product there. So I believe Eagles at Lowe's. If I'm incorrect, please let me know. But I hope it is at Lowe's because that means I can get my hands on it. So, again, I'm looking at some Milwaukee OPE. A lot of this stuff, I'm not even sure what it is or how to use it, but I'll, I'll learn quickly. Uh, look up some YouTube videos like this thing right here. I have no idea what it is, but it looks dope. So I'm interested in it. I'm curious. And, again, the more I buy from this Ace, the more they look out for me. Um, they Again, they've been incredible, guys. Build relationships. So they have a lot of kits, too. I know they I know that this says attachment only. But if you keep digging through this pile, which is what I did uh, off video, I was able to find these with a lot of kits. My only concern was that, that a lot of these came with a 12.0 um, HO battery, which had had me concerned because, you know, the reputation at the 6.0 for Milwaukee for, for in the 12 volt line and in the 12.0. The issue that they have, it seems like they just quit on you. I don't know what it is, you know, especially if you use it till exhaustion, if you completely drain the battery for whatever tool you're using. To me, what I've been learning, that's the worst thing for the 6.0 and the 12.0 because it deems or renders the battery unusable. But guys, again, this has just been my experience. Let me know if I'm doing something wrong. It's happened to me with three uh, 6.0s in the M12 platform and two 12.0s. On, on the in the m18 platform using fuel tools whether it be a vacuum the blower whatever it is it's just i've had a lot of struggles sorry for the ramble um i'm just looking at again more of these attachments that i that i haven't acknowledged and definitely haven't seen at home depot and i'm checking out this 12 inch top handle chainsaw definitely looking at that then right here below we got a sticker that says save 20 dollars and it says save $20 instantly. So that's a string trimmer kit, I believe. Not 100% sure, but I do think that that may be a kit. Yeah, it is. It is. So that's definitely something that I want to look into. And I think that comes with an 8.0. So that's going to make me more aggressive on it, knowing that that's not the 12.0 battery. But again, guys, I need your advice. I need your expertise and your opinions on that, on what I'm telling you about the 6.0 for the 12 volt platform and on the 12.0 in the 18 volt so enough of that there goes a kit for getting that uh top handle chainsaw and then again i was looking at this blower because this is one of the blowers that i don't have so i'm yeah i'm zooming in right there see if i can get that part number for you guys 2824-20 so that's not a kit that's just a tool only it's a dual battery so yeah that's definitely exciting i think this one is i think this might be i don't want to say the cfms i do believe in this video I did look on the specs on the back so we can know for sure. It comes with two accessories, a tapered nozzle and a flat nozzle. I think that's pretty cool. And hopefully I uh, flip it around in this video. I don't know. I don't remember what, what I did. Yeah, I did. Because the CFMs are very important to me. So, yep, we got 600 CFMs at 145 miles per hour. So that's really important to me, the power on, on, the, on this particular blower. So this blower I'm definitely going to pick up in conjunction with the backpack blower that's going to be coming up subsequently. So we'll be taking a look at that because I think that backpack blower was 650 CFM. So I'm definitely interested in acquiring and obtaining some new OPE. Here you go, some more chains. Here goes some more chainsaws. Excuse me, guys. 
Uh, one was tool only, and then the other one came in a kit. And then, of course, you got DeWalt OPE as well. And if this DeWalt OPE is good, guys, please let me know. Or if one is better than the other, let me know. And here we go. This really caught my eye right here. As soon as I came into the store, I went into back to wash my hands, and I saw this. I was like, oh, yeah, I got a film for you guys. So you guys might know about this. This is new to me. I haven't seen it, and I didn't know much about it. So I'm, I'm glad that I was able to uh, see it here. And right below it was uh, is a, is the kit. It's the actual kit. And if you look at right look right there, excuse me, 3009-24 HD. So that those numbers mean that they... Um, that second number, excuse me, means that it comes with a uh, certain amount of batteries, whether it be two or four. So this particular one has four batteries and two um, rapid chargers. So I thought that was great. Yeah, it's insanely expensive. Let me see if I can see that price again. Yeah, that's pretty expensive. Sixteen hundred bucks. So I have to test and compare this. I will do a comparison to like a steel brand blower. If you look right there, six hundred fifty CFM at 155 miles per hour so guys uh, you experts out there with this equipment this ope please share your opinion if you're watching or viewing this video at all please share your opinion with me and let me know and uh, i would be i would be greatly appreciate that would be greatly appreciated excuse me so it looks nice with milwaukee i'm sure it's comfortable i'm sure they put it through rigorous engineering to verify and assure that is something comfortable and it's lightweight and uh, durable. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm not going to uh, jump the gun and buy it until I do some more research, though. But it, it would definitely come in handy for what I'm doing now and multiple. I don't need just one. So definitely was excited to um, see that. And I'm glad to know that it, it's uh, readily available locally because I'm not too huge on buying stuff online. If, if it's not tangible, you know, I'm all about tangible Intangible kind of makes me nervous. But it, it's the way it is. Sometimes you got to get online. So they have sprayers and stuff like that here. Pretty much everything you need is uh is really available. Then I just decided to take a look at some of the um, steel brand stuff. So that's all gas powered. They have a big selection in this particular store. So it was nice to see that that I know I have both options. I'm more I'm more leaning towards uh, the battery powered OPE. But if I run into a situation where I don't have a choice and I need a more powerful chainsaw, I'll definitely be coming to check out the steel brand. And making an investment in a couple of these items because they are loaded so again guys this is pretty much ending the video uh thank you so much for watching thank you so much for sticking with me i appreciate you guys um who are checking in and made the comments on the video the other video i just uploaded i'm gonna get more consistent and um get back on track with you guys and posting some great content because i got tons of it it's just all backlog happy father's day to all the fathers out there and even if you're not a father if you're about to become a father or you just you just a regular guy out there, man. There's somebody there that appreciates you. There's somebody out there, kid, woman, man, doesn't matter. Somebody appreciates you. Appreciate you guys. Be blessed. Peace. Peace.